Well, let me tell you something, brother. Snort, snort, snort. Cody. Drip, snort, snort. I got the drip. Now I want to talk about last night's stream. And this is really where I need feedback from you guys because as a streamer and as a content creator, I really rely on the feedback of my audience to figure out what it is I should be doing, how I should be going about it, right? And, you know, what's what's meaningful to us and our time. And I've been asking you guys for a month, what do you want to see? And people said, do something new. Do a different kind of game. Too many RPGs, too much Street Fighter. Do something different. Okay, fine. I will, right? I'll do something different. So that's why we, we played Amnesia last night. Here's what I observed, all right? We start up with the game, and we got the usual attendance, I would say, between like two, 300 viewers, which is great, right? It's about the usual that we would get. Not anyone seems too crazy, although at the same time, there are some people who were excited and wanted to see, you know, what the game was going to be or whatever, all right? And basically, in the first hour, all right, we went from regulars, you know, people here who are regular, people like Jade, uh, you know, I think Arkham was here last night. Some moderators were here last night. Regulars were commenting on the game. DC even came in and did a haiku about the game and everything. You know, I'm like, this is cool. We got our regulars here to enjoy the game and talk about it and see what they like, right? And as this is going on, what, what becomes apparent is it's going to probably be a slow night, right? Because what I mean by slow is cont contributions, all right? I think in the first hour there was a single tip. That was it, like a single $4 tip or something like that. Now, here's the thing. It's not the end of the world when this happens. It's not. Um, but what happens is, when this happens, the trollish idiots out there now want to try to create a narrative. All right? And their narrative that they're determined to cause, because they're watching this on restreams, by the way, is let's make it that Phil had an awful night and had a breakdown, which didn't ever happen. Okay? It didn't happen at all. But they're trying their best to create this narrative. So what do they do? They send in their fucking people from the restreams and my viewership goes from around 250 viewers to over 400 within like five minutes gee i wonder where the people came from i'm sure all of a sudden discoverability on youtube skyrocketed and this is where the 200 fucking trolls came from right you know just yeah right okay and what ended up happening was the chat immediately went from people engaged and interested in the game to people just sitting there shitting, oh, this is boring, what is this, you know, how could Phil play this, it's another walking simulator, look, there's nothing going on, the game is too dark, and then it went, oh, look, why is no one contributing, people need to support, people need, you know, everything that I tell you guys not to do, I outright told you, listen, if the game's not that good, fine, but don't sit there and be overly negative for people who are enjoying it, if a stream is slow, fine, but it's not your place to talk about it. It's mine. I'm the one operating the business, not you. It's none of your business to even say anything about that. I'm the one who, if I say, hey guys, could you maybe do some contributions tonight? Could you like the stream? That's on me if I feel like saying that, not you. When you do that, you derail the stream, and essentially you're taking that kind of power into your hands that you shouldn't have, and you're annoying people who are just there to have a good time. People don't want to be advertised to every moment of every stream. But again, what these people do is they want to create their own narrative. So if we sit in Phil's chat and we say the game sucks and no one's contributing, it'll make the stream look toxic and negative for everyone there, and therefore people will not have a good time. And this is what they tried to do. And I didn't tell you guys this at the time, <clears throat> okay? Because I didn't want to derail the stream. But there were people contributing. Trolls. And they were doing like dollar tips and saying absolutely disgusting things. Things I wouldn't even repeat. Okay? Because they were trying to get my attention and piss me off during the stream. If you notice, it didn't work. I still was enjoying the game. <clears throat> I still was having a great time with you guys regardless. Okay? But, by the end of the night, this is not me exaggerating. This is me being very matter of fact. This is not a complaint. This is a factual report. We had three tips totaling 10 bucks. We had two super chats totaling less than $10. And we had one membership. And that was it for a premiere stream of a game that supposedly people had wanted to see for a month. And I finally got around to it because people have been asking for it, saying, we want variety, this is what we want. How on earth did this stream perform so poorly? And so I sat down, I thought about it, and I was like, I think I know exactly what it is, is it really wasn't what people are saying. If you take a look at the things that are doing well right now, what's doing the absolute best on all of my streams? Street Fighter Six, duh. Right? It's a reinvigoration of competitive fighting games for me. It's the first time I've taken a fighting game seriously in over a decade. I'm actually improving and doing better at it, and people are enjoying it. Now we're even doing more variety of content. We're doing 
you know, the world tour mode, we're doing community nights. It's it's actually branching out to be even more than just me playing the game online randomly against randoms. It's different, you know? And that's a good thing, right? But, excuse me, I agree with people that you don't just want to play Street Fighter entirely. I don't want to do two months of just Street Fighter. That's going to piss people off. Now, the good news is, coming in September, we've got a ridiculous amount of new releases. We recently just went through the gaming schedule. It's actually my pinned video here, like my featured video on DSP Gaming. <clears throat> Once September hits, we're going to have non-stop stuff to do. That's all variety. So you don't have to worry about, oh no, the rest of the year is just going to be Street Fighter Six. That's ridiculous. Just right now, that's the thing going on. There really aren't any major high-profile games coming out. What game was out this month? Exo Primal and Pikmin 4. Woohoo! Right? Like, really get excited for those. I mean, not to say that they're bad games, but no one's going to go crazy. Exo Primal is literally a team-based shooter that you grind online. There's nothing special to write home about. And Pikmin 4 is a cutesy puzzle game from Nintendo. And we all know how, how Nintendo games go on my channels. <clears throat> so, when I'm looking forward to, to the things that are going on here, and it's like, you know, what should I play? What shouldn't I play? And I listen to feedback, and everyone's saying, we want variety. When I ask, well, what kind of variety? Should I bring back Elden Ring? Should I do... No, do this Amnesia game, you know? But when I really look at how last night went, all right? Attendance was not great. If you, if you cut out the troll aspect, the 200 trolls that joined, I probably had around 200 to 250 attendees. And the people there were like, meh, it's all right. They weren't, like, blown away with the game. Some people liked it, some people didn't. It was a mix. But overall, you're telling me that a game that people were asking for for a straight month is literally the slowest support stream of the entire year. Not the week, not the month, up until now in 2023. That was the slowest support stream I've had all year. That tells me something, right? That's that's people outright saying, yeah, this probably wasn't exactly what we were looking for. You probably should have done something else, and you're listening to the wrong people. Because it sounds to me like what happened is, these are idiotic trolls who just don't like the fact that I'm having a good month or having a, you know, that Street Fighter's going so well, right? They relish in the fact that I haven't enjoyed the RPGs recently because they feel like they can mine toxicity out of that for their own purposes and their own content. But they haven't really been able to do that much with Street Fighter. You know what I'm saying? Um, with Street Fighter, I'm genuinely doing be good. People are actually seeing for the first time, oh my god, Phil actually is pretty decent. Now, I'm not a real pro player, but wow, Phil does have some skill in Street Fighter, and it's pretty undeniable looking at these videos. Even a pro player analyzed his gameplay and admitted, yeah, he's pretty good at it. So now our narrative has to change. It can't be Phil sucks at Street Fighter anymore. Now it's got we got to create new narratives, right? We got to do new shit. And I hate the fact that sometimes, yes, that toxicity from outside the streams does make a, a factor into it. I'm being honest here. You know, I hate that. I don't want those idiots to be able to control the content here. And, you know... I want to ignore it. I want us to have a positive time no matter what I'm playing. And I, I want to tell you, I actually did enjoy Amnesia last night. It's a little bit of a frustrating game. It's horror for a different reason. It's horror because not because the enemy is scary, but because you're weak, limited resources, limited inventory space. You can't really run from the thing because you make too much noise and it can follow you. It's it's more suspenseful and, and creepy in that way. It's, a, it's scary in a different way. And that's fine. Like I said, by the end of the night... I died once, I was like, oh man, but you know, it's alright, because the game, you know, it's not a giant map, so it's not like I have to redo 20 minutes of gameplay, it's like 4 minutes of gameplay, it's not a big deal, I didn't complain about it at all. I'm like, alright, when we when we regroup next time, when we play this again, you know, uh, we'll start from here, we'll have to redo a little bit, but that's fine, and we'll go from there. So, yeah, so basically, my observation here, alright, is, I do feel like I was duped, because the entire last month, I saw a lot of complaining about us only playing the same kind of game. But then when I actually went out of my way to play a different kind of game based on the feedback of the viewership, it was the slowest support stream of the year. That tells me people weren't that interested at all. It's good to have variety on the streams, but if people weren't interested in this game that much, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I kind of feel like w there was an over-exaggeration of negativity from people saying, we don't like Street Fighter to try to get me to stop playing Street Fighter, which I'm doing really good with, and is getting support, and is getting a lot of popularity in my audience. Right now, there's people who are actually watching me play fighting games for the first time in years and enjoying it. I haven't played Street Fighter seriously in over 10 years, and people are coming back for it now, and they're actually liking it. You know what I'm saying? So, that's a good thing. That's a positive thing. Why am I shying away from that? 
Now, I'm not saying I want to be a dedicated Street Fighter streamer, because again, this is something the trolls will do. An idiot will come on stream. Phil, you're just going to become a ma uh, just a Street Fighter streamer now? Because all you do is play Street Fighter all day. It's a lie. I've been doing other things, but you know, they want to create, again, create the narrative so that they have some toxicity to spew in their content that isn't true. So, it's this simple, okay? I'm not going to let what a bunch of fucking idiots say dictate me or my enjoyment of games or my content whatsoever. Because their narrative is that because Phil had the slowest night of the year last night, he's going to wage quit Amnesia the Bunker. Fuck you. I'm going to play what I want. I liked the game last night. It's creepy and scary and it's going to be frustrating, I know, because it, you can't really defend yourself. I like the game. I am going to continue to play Amnesia the Bunker, regardless of the level of support I receive on the stream, because I play games because I like them. Not because I'm fucking looking for a paycheck, you fucking ingrate idiots. You're so dumb. You're such knuckle-dragging morons. You, if I was looking to make money, I would have been doing things all along to just make money. You fucking incredible, incredible, brainless, black hole, empty-headed idiots. I can't believe you would say that narrative. Everything I've ever done has been anti-profit. Have you not noticed? <laughs> I refuse to follow the YouTube trends to make money. I don't take sponsorships or partnerships when I'm offered them. I didn't take the paycheck from Keemstar. I don't cash in on my haters to make money. I outright tell my viewers, support me for my content, not to stick it to the haters. Don't monetize the hate, right? I do literally everything to not make money. Yet you would make your narrative that fills about the money and he's going to wage quit a game. You are so fucking stupid. You want to clip a section? Clip this one, bitches. Because this is what you won't clip because now you feel fucking stupid. Alright? I'm not quitting amnesia. The gameplay continues on Monday night as planned. I'm continuing with this goddamn game because I like it. And I know that some of my viewers genuinely like it too. And I'm not all about the profit every fucking moment of my life, you know? Yes, is it going to be concerning if for an entire week I have a week full of slow streams with low support? Yes, did that happen? No, dumbass! So why the hell would I drop a game? I swear to God, these people... And, and it, the, You want to know, here's the absolute best part of all of it, all right? I mean this now. They like to look at us together and they say, Wow, you know, who would support Phil? You've got to be stupid or slow. They, they make horrible jokes. Things that are uh, outside, uh, totally offensive. Like, wow, you must ride the small bus if you like Phil's content. You must, you know, just really fucked up stuff. What they don't realize is that they don't look in the mirror and look at themselves and realize only people, you know, the, who would act the way that they act. Those are the people who have the problems. Not the people who genuinely enjoy positive content. That's a normal person. The person who doesn't, who's who's making awful jokes, who's totally always trying to create a toxic narrative, you're the one with the problems. But that they won't look in the mirror at themselves. They refuse to be self-aware of anything going on around them. But then what do they say? Phil's not self-aware. They're the worst case of that on the internet, but they want to pretend like I'm the problem or my viewers, my positive supporter viewers are the problem. No, you're the problem. If you went away... I'd be happy, and so would everyone else on this planet. Literally, if all the toxic shit about me on the internet vanished, the world would be a better place. But they don't want us to admit that. Again, they don't want to look inward. They can't, because the moment they look inward and they realize they're the biggest hypocrites, they would fu their minds would explode. It's ridiculous how nasty they are and can't realize it, and then they, try to, they literally try to project their shortcomings onto others as if they're the ones with the problems. No. No, you fucking idiots. What are you talking about? Right? So, I'm I'm totally okay with having a bad stream last night for support. Is it alarming? Yeah, it is. I was surprised. Honestly, I was like, wow. I can't believe it was a low support stream because people seem to have been asking for about this for a while. Maybe it's because it was the wrong people. Maybe it was people who were upset that I was doing so well with Street Fighter that they wanted me to try to do other stuff. And then when I finally played it, they're like, ha ha, see, fuck you. We weren't going to do anything to support this anyway, right? Who knows? But I'm not here. I'm not sleuth. I'm not fucking Sherlock Holmes. I'm not Inspector Gadget walking around. I'm not going to try to figure out this shit. I'm just like, you know what? I like the game. It's not rocket science. I'm going to play it again on Monday night. 
If we get no support again, I guess we get no support again. Truth is, the game's not even that long. Everyone says it's like a six to eight hour game. I'm going to assume it's going to take me eight hours. Because as you know, when I play these games, I usually play slower and longer than most. So it's probably going to be like a four stream game for me. It's not a big deal, man. It's not. We'll do it. We'll play it. We'll enjoy it. So those who liked it, congrats. We're going to keep up, keep going. If you didn't like it, well, not a big deal, right? Not a big deal. And, uh, you know, it's not a super long game. Do we got other stuff on the horizon? I would say, yeah, we're probably going to bring back Elden Ring at some point. And remember, coming up for my anniversary celebration in August, we're going to do retro playthroughs. We're going to actually, very soon, we're going to sit down and we're going to start determining dates for special events. One, There's going to be one retrospective day where you guys are going to nominate your favorite moments and videos from 15 years of me creating content. And we're going to actually watch a marathon of it and react to it. There's going to be a Project 7 event. And then I want to do throwback playthroughs. And it could be some classic games. Like maybe I'll go back and play some of the classic Mega Man and Mario games and stuff like that just for fun. But I want to do playthroughs of games that are older playthroughs of mine that I never really formally did a good playthrough of. You know, my idea would be like Saints Row 2, but I'm sure you guys could come up with good ideas too. <clears throat> one of the ideas was Grand Theft Auto 5, a game that I only did one playthrough of ever. And that was only the first year I'd become a streamer. <clears throat> so now maybe going back... <clears throat> I'm doing a playthrough of that. You know, we'll talk about this. Let's figure this out. Well, exactly what we want to do um, in the month of August. So, no worries. Like, we got good stuff coming up. I'm not worried at all in any way, shape, or form. And then once we hit September, oh my god, we're busy till the end of the year. We'll have non-stop new releases to cover, right? So, I'm good. You know? I don't care about every once in a while there's a slow stream. It's not a big deal. It's just, it is concerning and a little bit confusing. To me, I was more confused last night than anything else. Because it seemed like there was a big majority of people saying they wanted Amnesia. And then half, you know, we had only had around 200 to 250 viewers that were legit. Like I said, the other 200 viewers were obvious trolls coming in from restreams. And then when it's the slowest, you know, support stream of the year, I'm like, something obviously went amiss. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and that kind of made me scratch my head. But now I think I've kind of wrapped my head around what really happened here, you know? But it's fine. It's, it's okay. It's good for variety anyway. I would hope, obviously... I would hope if you're someone who does like the game and was looking forward to it, maybe you will support the future streams now that we saw what happened that first one. If not, I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry like a little baby and whine about it. It's not a big deal. Other streams are doing good. Street Fighter's doing good. Yesterday, I was shocked at how good the Final Fantasy 16 stream did yesterday because we were bored for half the stream and people were still being very positive and supportive. I was like, thank you. Like, that's so nice of you because I know that we're not having a great time all half the time. But, you know, amazing. Thank you guys for that, you know? Why on earth am I going to focus on one stupid night stream as if that's some horrible thing that happened? It isn't, okay? <clears throat> so anyway, um, thanks. Thanks for, for, for those who were positive, and thanks to those who continue to be positive around here. Every time that these idiots on the internet try to say something about me or my viewer base, turn it back on them. Say, how on earth can you say that about us when in reality, if you just look in the mirror, you're a worse case than anything you're saying about us, right? How on earth could you ever accuse us when you're the worst hypocrites on the planet? It's just fucked up how messed up they are in the head. And then they try to say that we're the ones who have problems. No, stupid. We're just having fun on a stream. You're the ones who sit there all day obsessing over it. You're the one who needs help. <laughs> you know, like, what the fuck is your problem? Okay. So anyway, uh... That's my opinion, all right? So now that that's been said, let's now get to the schedule for the rest of the week so you guys know what to expect, all right? I got the drip going. 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 It's like a faucet that's dripping. You can't make it stop. So what do you want me to do? Have a, have a mute button that every second I'm tapping the mute button just in case I, I'm going to have to clear? Like, this is what I mean. These, these dumb kids. This is what it is. It's dumb kids. 